Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Inkbound. This is a fluid online turn-based co-op roguelike game from the creators of Monster Train. That's about all I know. I've played a little bit of it. I had to play through the tutorial to get to the character creation. I'm going to call it that. Uh, it's sort of a two-part thing and that's actually how the video is going to be split. We're going to be having a look at the available classes that are currently in the demo version of the game then we're going to look at the character customization part where you get to change the way your character looks because as you can see right now our character is a bit of a blank slate you'll see how it works once we jump into the customization for now however to start things off we'll look at the classes but before i do i'm going to say if you'd like to do a deep dive you can find some links below that will help you discover all you need to about this game as always, the timestamps will help you jump between the different parts of this video as well. So, with that said, here we have the Magma Miner. First class that's available. Can you stand the heat? Swing your hammer to build up bonus damage, but don't stop, lest you risk cooling down. Hmm, yeah. So, the abilities. Specialization is Magma Miner. Then you have Bonk, Leaping Strike, and Smash. You can sort of tell what kind of class this is going to be. Well, I think you could have told by the armor and the hammer alone. Then we have the Moss Cloak. Dash around the battlefield, seeking your enemy's weaknesses. Then unleash Moss Cloak's Shuriken in a deadly flurry. Their specialization is Moss Cloak. Then they have uh, Throw, Hunter Dash, and Flurry. You can change this class that you're playing on at any point during the game. You can just come up to a terminal. I'll show it to you now, and you can switch around. Then we have the Weaver. An artisan with the power to spin magical threads. Control the battlefield and let combat become your work of art. Specialization is obviously weaving. Thread, constrict, and stitch. They look pretty cool. I like it. This one's locked at the moment. It's called the obelisk. With two massive stone shields, the obelisk gains power from absorbing damage. Build up your strength, then deliver a massive attack. It looks kind of sick. I like it. Two shields, yeah. Specialization is obelisk over here. Then we have bulwark, shield bash, and taunt. Finally, clairvoyant. Channel your energy through the shard globe to create auras affecting nearby enemies and allies. There's the specialization. Telekinesis, psychic pulse, and spirit bomb. They all look pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot more space here for them to add more classes. And most likely there will be more by the time the game comes out. Uh, for the purposes of this video, let's just select uh, the big dude right here. We'll take the Magma Miner. And then I will show you. You just switch by coming over here, clicking on it, and changing. Easy as that. There's nothing to it. Then, for the customization, we just run up here. We go to the reform enclosure. And this is where the real fun begins first things first you get to select presets there are some interesting looking presets here they've set you up with some cool stuff and in just a moment you will see how we create these how we can make our character our own if we so desire i think it's kind of fun it's kind of cool so if we're gonna start with some let's just let's take this one so we can start with i guess what you could call a, a blank slate it's not really blank and you'll see what i mean by that in just a moment uh, but you get to change the skin tone uh, and this is basically i'm gonna say any color under the rainbow you can sort of uh, pick and choose what you want and this is the reason i actually want the black slate because <laughs> um yeah okay we're getting a bit of a clash here let's rather pick this one this is the easier one to start on so basically you're going to have a lot of control over what's on your face. And I'll show you how it works just now. First things first, however, skin tone. Lots of different choices here. Uh, lots of different colors you can choose from. But you can customize and, and sort of just create your own color. Any one you want. You can go full white. If you go all the way down here, you can go full black. Uh, anything works. But for the purposes of the video, let's take something like this blue. Alright. Then, here. Here. You can be bald, because of course, why not? Then there are a bunch of different styles. And you will notice down here that you can change the primary color and the accent color on all of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the one very different from the other. So we'll make that a blue. 
and we'll make the primary a let's do a uh, green let's do a green then you will see when there are two-toned hairstyles uh, where the two different colors sit there are some really cool stats the sombra style right it's kind of nice there you go okay so that's where the accents come in and you will notice that there will be uh, things like bands and other extras that will be changed by the accent color as you can see over there so there's the red so it's not like a highlight in the hair it's the accent of you know an item or something that your character's wearing it's still important obviously and you want control over that but there are a lot of different styles here weird styles obviously i mean they can't not be weird like they have to be <laughs> it's 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 the way the game looks right it's a very interesting design so let's just pick something like that for now and as i mentioned colors you can sort of do anything you like with it uh, you can go anywhere you like with it let's make it red for now and then the interesting part so the way this works you have all these slots then you have these different sets of face paint and what you can do with these is basically anything you select one right it looks like that you do the colors on it let's make it black okay then you get to change its positioning entirely you know you can sort of put it anywhere you get to change its size quite a lot and you get to change its rotation so you can do basically whatever you like with this and i really mean that because if you go for as an example this one right and then you center it then i can actually take this and put another one of those on there and i can just as an example create some like cool shading effects on it like you can make it sort of look like it's 3d or whatever right with something like that i could even do another one of the same uh, and i can sort of position it a, a little higher up make it a little let's put it back in the middle there there you go boom it looks terrible i'm sorry but basically the idea is that you can do anything you don't have to make your character look like anything specific you don't have to uh, follow any guidelines where this is concerned you can sort of just mix and match as much as you like and make what you want it means that unfortunately you have to be a little creative for this stuff <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah people like me might suffer a little bit uh, let's put those on okay let's move them aside a little bit make them a little bit bigger and then let's try and make like some eyes okay now i think that the positioning on here uh, determines so if i put it after then it goes on top i'm not 100 percent, but basically let's try and make some eyes here it's already on the smallest okay then let's put like a circle in the middle no wait stop okay like that then let's put like a circle in the middle put it to the side a little bit make it a little bit smaller Move it up a little more and then make this bright that looks terrible my god okay change it to something else <laughs> okay okay take the line out there we go Ah, now how about a nose? Let's do a nose. Or a mask. Here we go. That That is a mask, right? There it is. Make it a little smaller. Alright. A black mask. Okay, that looks horrible. But you get the idea. You can do basically anything you want. I understand why there's no randomized feature in this. I understand why they wouldn't include it because honestly i think it would just make a mess if it had to like populate all of these with different sprays different face paints and and then just like randomly give them colors and sizes and and everything like that it would actually legitimately just make a mess it would be almost impossible to get something like decent looking from it uh, but it's whatever uh, if you are creative and if you feel like you can uh, sort of craft something that looks half decent like these ones then go for it 
and I'm sure that a game like this would probably benefit greatly from a system where you could share these online. Uh, where you could save the preset, get a code or something like that, and then just pop it on a Discord or on a Reddit or something, people can pick it up. But I think it's a super duper flexible system, and I think that people who are creatively inclined can probably make some super great looking stuff with this. Uh, other people, like maybe me, uh, will struggle to make something that looks even a little bit decent, and I'll probably end up going with something super basic. But uh, yeah, I think that it's a nice system. There's a lot to do here. It has a lot going for it. You could always also pick up one of their presets and just sort of customize from there. Uh, I think that would be quite a decent choice as well. But there you have it. That is the customization in Inkbound. I've just shown off the way you create things in this. I've shown off the basics. I will leave it to you guys to try and take it uh, those steps further. You know, <laughs> I'll pass the, the torch to you now and you can take it from here. If you guys have made anything decent looking in this game, please let me know. I'd love to hear. If you've been playing the game and enjoying it, I'd love to hear that too. Uh, the guys who made Monster Train, they know what they're doing. That was a fantastic game. Uh, and I have no doubt that this one's going to be awesome as well when it's fully released. So check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy creating and customizing those characters. Happy that.